Hi. Um, this is the second part of the making of the quail cages. All right, as you can see, they've got the, the tray for the eggs to roll out into. These are, I built these all day yesterday. I'm just working on the doors. As you can see, the doors open and close nicely. Um, this one's the finished one. And I'll show you on why this have points on it. Right, this is the, the door opening. Got nice little cage clamps it holds and uses. Work they work great for hinges, and you can have these hooked any way you want. You have to make sure that when you do your doors before you even cut out the hole, make sure you get your door attached where you want it with the cage clamps, and make sure your door goes over top of your your tray without any problems. All right, the next step is once you get your door you pull your door back and you try to go as you can see the door here try to give yourself a lip these are inch square so I went one square inside the door frame one square up at the top only because you've got the the roof to help hold the the strength of the top I cut down alongside the, the side like you would and across the bottom I left two only because underneath these you've got that opening for the eggs to roll right here so giving it two gives it strength because this isn't the, the strongest wire in the world but you know depending on the wire and especially if you're using the the hardware cloth like I got on the bottom if you left just one it would fold right up and you'd have problems so use a heavier wire for the sides and the top and use your other for the bottom. Now, when I did th that's the first one. This is the second one. I left this open for a reason. I got the door on there. I cut the opening out, but as you can see, they've got these little points from the wire. I've learned from the past that when you're making cages, if you don't want to get all, you don't cut them right up tight to the the top and the bottom, like so that you don't have things to scratch your arm so what I do is I clip them off to the next one down and then you bend them and you bend them right up and around and that way you don't have sharp sharp edges they're nice and rounded edges so when you reach in you're not scratching your arms and everything all up all right um, and I'll finish rolling all these around so that it looks just like this one and when I'm done you can either I what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these spring loaded so I don't have any latches I just open them up and they close automatically quail don't push up against things and don't have the strength to open the door so you wouldn't have that problem I've got rabbit cages and chicken cages with the same spring loaded and they don't bother it but you can close these any way you want you can take a couple clothes pins and just put one on there to hold it shut or you can make a wire latch or anything to your little heart's desire all right and uh, when I get these done I'll show you the the next video should be putting the birds in them and but this is this is the second part of it and the last one of the cage videos if you have questions you just write us and we'll we'll try to give you the best answers we can give you and uh, Alright, so this is Clay from Popel's Backyard Farms. Um, follow us, and we'll try to learn things together. Okay, bye-bye.